Amrita and David had an equal number of marbles. After Amrita gave 50 marbles to David, he had five times as many marbles as her. So how many marbles did they have altogether? Right, this is one of those problems where I think it's it's easier to draw a picture of what it looks like at the end because that really shows you what's going on. Okay, so here we're going to have Amrita and then we're going to have David. All right, so Amrita at the end has this amount or this block, this number of marbles represented by this block. And we know that David has five times this amount. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five times the amount. Okay, so let's just check that. One, two, three, four, and five. So Amrita has one, and David has one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and these are all equal size parts. And we can see now that there are six equal size parts altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six equal size parts altogether. Now at the beginning of the problem, let's draw a picture of what it looked like at the beginning. Okay, Amrita and David. At the beginning of the problem, these six equal size portions were divided equally between them. Six divided by two equals three. So that means that each of them must have had three of these equal size portions, these equal size parts. Here we go. Okay, so that's what it looked like at the beginning. This is what it looked like at the end. All right, so what did Amrita do? Amrita gave 50 marbles to David. All right, she gave 50 marbles to David. That is these two portions here. Okay, these two portions here were given to David by Amrita and we know that together they are worth 50. Okay. Now if these are two equal size portions we know that each of these must be one half of 50. 50 divided by 2 will tell us what each of these is. So 50 divided by 2 gives us 25. So each of these is worth 25. Okay, and we can continue writing that in. 25, 25, 25, 25. Okay, you see how clear it is, how easy it is now to see how much they have or what's going on in this problem. Now we are asked to calculate how many marbles they have all together. And we've said altogether there are six equal size portions. It doesn't matter whether you look at the beginning problem or the end of the problem. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means if we multiply 25 by six, we should find out how many marbles there are all together. Okay. I don't know why I wrote that down there. 150. Okay, 150. They had 150, 150 marbles all together. Okay, easy.